Hi there, and today I'm finally building my London Underground train. So since my part one planning video, I've made lots of bricklink orders and I've finally got all the parts I need to make my two London Underground carriages. And I'm basing it around this uh, 28 stud long train base plate. Now these are the older type, you, they came out in the 80s, but nowadays when you get uh, Lego City trains, you get the, this length, which is only 24 studs. So it's uh, difficult to get two of these in black, but I managed to get them and that's the basis of my train. So first of all, I'm gonna build up um, the walls and this is done with just plates. I've got two uh, blue plates and then I'm adding two white plates on top. I wanted the white to be slightly wider than the blue and because all my windows are uh, snot mounted, studs not on top, um, I need the smooth tiles on top of these um, so they can uh, sit on top without um, fouling up on the Lego studs. So what I'm doing is adding these here and I've made up several more of those. We're leaving four studs gap for our doors, then another four studs gap, and there's our three walls this side. Flip it around and we'll do the same on the other side. So next is the windows, and I'm using these uh, one by two by two transparent black panels, and I'm gonna add one to this two by six plate and one on the other end, and then two underneath those, making this H sort of structure. Then they need white on the end, so underneath I'm adding these one by two plates. And then to get rid of the studs, I'm adding on top two one by two tiles. And then that is going to sit on top like that. But obviously that needs to be held down somehow, otherwise it's just going to move around. So using black bricks, and they won't show up as much if people look through the windows, I've got a couple of 1x2 bricks. And then on top of that I'm adding a 1x2 brick, but also it's got studs on the side as well. So maybe this little column. And we're going to put a couple of 2x2 two two plates on the side like that. And then unfortunately these have a hole in the base plate exactly where I want to stand this. So what I need to then do, once I've attached this little construction there, is we're going to add a 2x4 plate underneath, and that will happily sit, hopefully, over the top of that hole, and keep those windows in place. So I've got two more of those constructions here like so. And the columns for those, they haven't got the square holes, so all I've done is I've added a 1x2 plate on the bottom of the column instead, so they should easily click into place like that, and also like that. And there is our windows. So next up is the doors, and for the door sills I'm using these uh, grey tiles, which are going to go 1x4s in here for the double doors in the middle of the train. And then at the end of the train you, we have single doors. So one end is a single passenger door and the other end is a single door for the driver's cab. So what we need to do is add these 1x2s and this is where we need to start extending our base plate. So what we need to do, I've got some 2x6s here, add those together. That just extends our base plate one end, and the other end where the cab is, we've got another 2x6, but a 1x6 as well, because I need to do something different on there. So we're going to add our 1x2 tiles this end for the cab. So getting a little bit longer. For the doors, firstly I'm going to make those double doors, so we're just going to move this out of the way, and that's going to be based around this 1x4 with studs on the side, and that's going to be um, the other way around, so you'll see this side, but that's how we're going to hold this in place with that ever so slight um, recess on uh, the doors. So what we need to do is add a plate to that, and then we're going to build up with just one by ones, and then I could have done that with a one by two in the middle, 
but it's effectively meant to be two doors. This should really be two, I imagine then, but I thought if we did one by ones, it would give that line down the middle, giving it more of an effect of actually being two doors. I may swap these out for one by twos at some point if I can um, source enough of them to go on the train. We're gonna carry on going up like that for our door. And then because I said with these doors curve up into the roof, I'm just using these one by one cheese wedges in red and also in the transparent black for the glass to give us our slope on the door. I'll just flatten that out like that. And then these are going to sit in these gaps here, but with that ever so slight recess. So they're going to be mounted on the base plate from behind using the next part. So if we again move this out of the way for the moment, this is again just based around a 2x4 plate and we're going to add again some 1x2s but this time not having studs on the side they've got their Technobricks so they've got two um, stud sized holes in them. If we're going to add two of them like so and then get some 1x2 plates and we're going to put them studs into those holes like that. So we've now got anti-studs sticking out sideways. I'm going to put another one on that side and then put two on this side as well. That one and then another one like that. So we've got these plates sticking out sideways but back to front. And then that will sit in the middle here like so and the studs on our door will click into them and that's what gives us our ever such slight quarter stud recess on the doors. So let's pop those windows back in and I've already made the rest of the double doors so I'll put that one in there like that and then one here with my other sub-assembly like that and there are our double doors. Oh, I just need to put the cheese slips on the top of those. And there we have it. So now to the single doors at the end. So we said this is going to be the cab end, so that door is actually white, but this end we do a single red door. So it's exactly the same construction. We've got a uh, one by two uh, brick with studs on its side, and we are going to add a red brick to it, and then another red brick, and two transparent black bricks. And then our one by one cheese slopes on the top. I right, just need a quick straighten that out, like so. And that can sit, and that's going to be this one there. And I've just built two more of these one to go this end, and one to go the other end. And that door nicely clicks in there. Then the one I've already previously made exactly the same, just add our cheese slopes to the top and that can sit next to it. And there we've got our single door on the other end. So exactly the same construction on the other end but making it in white. So again we've got our one by two with studs on the side, two one by one bricks, to one by one transparent bricks and then our cheese slopes on top. Again get our little sideways construction, add that on to the base plate and this door can click in there and the reverse can click in on this side and again it needs its cheese slopes on top 
and there we have our doors and you can see this what I was um, trying to achieve on the planning video this ever such slight it's in fact it's I thought it was quarter stud but it's actually slightly less than that but this ever such slight recess uh, much less than if you were using jumper plates um, to recess the doors ever so slightly but not too much so there we have our finished walls so onto the ends of the train so first of all the non-cab end we're going to start off with some blue plates uh, one by six and two one by twos and in the middle we're going to put a grey one by two and also a grey one by two brick and a, another plate and a window then building up the sides we're just building up with some bricks like this oops and then each side of that we're just going to add a little tiny one by one plate like that pop a one by four across the top to hold it together and add two more cheese slopes on the sides and that is going to sit on this end like that then turn it around and we'll do the other end and here are the parts for that end just realized this is going to be easier if I pop the bottom of the train off and built it on this plate here so what we're going to do is add a 1x2 plate in the middle and then some 1x2 tiles each side of it because we're doing some again studs on side work here so we want to keep that nice and smooth uh, pop a couple of red plates in the middle there and then to start our studs on the side we're having some one by ones again with a single stud on the side like so then these are going to be used for the headlight bricks at some point I'm hoping of when I power this um, next video will be powering this up and then the last one hopefully will be building the tube station but if I put power functions lights in these they will glow nicely but I'm going to pop a stud in there for now and get a plate and a regular brick like so then that is going to sit on there like that so we can do the same on the other side technic brick with a hole in it add a yellow stud add a plate add a one by one brick and then attach it sideways perfect now get a one by four tile and a transparent black window and that's going to be our side window on this side we'll do the same on the other side like that these also need a red plate underneath each of them and that will make the perfect gap to put our middle cab window in again in transparent black and then that can sit on here just like that so there's our cab attached and we just need to add above that central window a little black plate and that's representing the destination board and then put a red one on top and I can build the assemblies to go here but obviously there's no studs to attach them to so they will just be loose for now until we put the roof on but very quickly they are just going to be a one by two with two one by ones on top of it and a cheese slope next to it like that then if we just build another one of those very quickly again plate cheese slope two one by ones and you can see each one of those will sit just like that on each side but like I said nothing's going to hold them in place until we build the roof 
So the roof is made up, um, again, it's a little modular system, um, and it's based around this 6x6, which is happily going to sit on those two studs of this column here, and that's what's going to keep it in place initially. So start with a 6x6, add this grey panel to it, and then put two more 1x6s there, and then pop along the side lots of one by two cheese slopes. Like that. And then down the middle, we're gonna stick this very long two by 10 plate. Then that is going to sit in the middle quite happily on top of that window. And you can start to see the shape of the train then, especially with this, the curve of the walls, well, the slope of the walls and the door with this slight recess and then obviously this has to be come in because if we kept that four wide it would um, foul up with this recessed door so we've got to make the center part two studs wide um, where it passes the doors so we've got that going to get two more of those which i've already built and then put one on each column above the windows like that and then next is a lot of these. So I won't bore you with that, I'll do a little bit of time lapse for you. And there is our finished tube train car. And with its curved roof going its full length where the doors are recessed because they're no higher than the rest of it they just sit underneath those um, curved slopes slightly you can see a slight gap there but again they meet those uh, slopes about a quarter of a stud underneath them um, and it's the uh, same all the way down but obviously i need two of them so here's the other one so they will join together like this and be 32 studs long each making 64 and that's how long my station is going to be 64 studs long and um, that's in the planning stages at the moment and the next video will be uh, adding some wheels to this and um, motorizing it probably with power functions not powered up um, which means i've got to work out with all that structure inside where i'm going to fit the battery box and the uh, sensor probably stick out the roof panel somewhere so build those and then the next video after that will be building the station so there we have our 1973 london underground tube stock um, completely built from the um, wheels up and wheels in the next video with some power so let me know in the comments below what you think of the design. Can you think of anything that would um, help me improve the design at all? Um, let me know and also give it a thumbs up if you like this. And of course, please do subscribe for more LEGO videos.